Welcome to this video and in this one it's gonna be kind of short and we're going to discuss a very basic uh, idea in Instagram and it is how to choose the best Instagram handle. Now handle means basically it is your username and it is uh, anything you can you can put anything there and it is the username that someone can find you based on this okay and I'm going to show you kind of an idea or a strategy on how to name your Instagram account and even if you're a person or even if you have a business account and you're promoting uh, your business your products etc the same strategy is for either one so let's just go into it so um yes these are the basic ideas that i'm going to explain you more right now and let's say yanis whose name is yanis andreu uh, wanted to put his own name yanis andreu on instagram but for some reason because he's not the only yanis andreu on the planet uh, for some reason some other person has put it already before yanis so at this point what are you going to do the first thing that you can do or yanis can do or you can do or whatever if you have a business is you can add this little thing or this one the dot or the little dash so it could seem like this your username could seem like this or like this actually this is the I don't know how it's called under dash or whatever it's called second one is that you can use an initial like you can put Yanis A or G Andreu and this is the second category that you can uh, put your personal account or even your business account. S uh, third one is that you can, you can use your niche. Uh, niche is the specific category that you work for. For example, fitness is a niche. Um, uh, technology and computers could be another niche, etc. So if Yanis Andreu would, uh, let's say, um, have a business or have a personal account related to fitness he could put this one Yanis Andreu Fitness another one is that you can use your domain and you can you know put it like yanisandreu.com if you have a domain like this uh, fifth one is that you can use a prefix now oops it says prefix but it is meant to say pre prefix or prefix or whatever it's called a uh, prefix is basically something that you put before something else like uh, a word can have a pre prefix like a little you know some letters that are added to the word before that so for example Yanis Andreu can can be like this the Yanis Andreu or I'm Yanis Andreu or something like this and last one of this example is come to your state like for example if Yanis uh, was living in US he could put Yanis under US and these are the basic examples that we have um, you can even you know you can have your imagination and uh, make up some examples uh, the only thing is that you know go to the professional uh, way or professional route because let's say if if for example uh, you see something like uh, Yanis Andreu 1996 or something like that a specific uh, you know um, 2018 or whatever uh, date it's not very professional so go for for something professional this is the basic idea and let's say if you have also you know a specific business for example in this one if Inmars for example was uh, a fashion you know a niche 
is work was working in fashion um you could put here or we could put in mass fashion so this is the basic idea keep it professional make a good username and uh, start like this in instagram and that's it for the information in this video put it into application and i will see you in the next video